I wanted to show you something I found kind of interesting. Uh, I have many hobbies, and one of the ones that I have recently uh, been getting back into is playing with locks, learning how to pick them and how they work and things like that. And uh, I wanted to show you this, just a little short. This is a little cheapo lock that I think I got at the Dollar Tree, CB brand. It says, I think it says made in China, somewhere maybe. It's a 50 millimeter. Yeah, maybe it doesn't say made in China, I can't remember. Anyway, I was gonna use this on the, I don't remember what I bought it for, but it's a nice solid lock. But uh, doing some checking around, I uh, got this, this is a 25 cent paring knife that I have ground down. And I have learned that on a lot of these Chinese knives, Chinese knives, Chinese locks, they are so insecure, so poorly made, they have a bypass in here. And what you want to do is you want to stick the tool in here at the bottom of the key, kind of pointing upwards a little bit. And there's a sweet spot. And sometimes I can get it in just a second. And sometimes it takes me a couple of seconds. Oop, there it is, sweet spot. So, if you want to keep something locked and safe, don't buy one of these super cheap Dollar Tree box. Go get one from Walmart or the Family Dollar Store. I see now that I'm talking, I can't concentrate while I'm talking and the angle of the phone camera is messing with me. Uh, pay, there we go. Pay two dollars. Oh, there it is. See, I, hit, I found it. Pay two dollars or three dollars because one of those, there's one here I got for a couple of bucks somewhere. Can't do that with these. There's no sweet spot, at least not that I've found yet. You can obviously tell there's a big difference. Keys. If I'll focus in on that or not. But uh, if you really want to keep something safe, really need to lock it up, unless you're just hoping the lock deters them, you better get something a little bit better than that. Because is that first time, two seconds. Just a little public safety information. Have a great day. God bless y'all.